Hey there guys, I'm revisiting an old tutorial that I made all to do with the physics and this is on the basis of also being the basics video. Uh, so I hope this will be helpful for anyone who's wanted to get into this very quickly and simply. So this is a, a very simple character, as you all know, this is my little jelly character. We're going to actually start with making a new deformer. So we're going to go into literally everything that we have. The main body has been uh, made to work with the x and y parameters so that means we need to literally select everything in this list and then we go into this here we create a new warp deformer so we go into this button here called create warp deformer and we click on it and we can call it let's say warp deformer of physics and then create now we have everything in its own warp deformer this will adopt the properties that we added to this deformer for the x and y parameter. So now that we've made this warp deformer for the physics, we can go into any one of these. We don't really need to use all of them. We could just go with the hair move front or hair move side, whichever one you want, uh, and then add three keyforms for the warp deformer of physics in this case. So we're going to make the character sway to the left like this. And then we're going to make the character sway to the right like this because this left keyform is when the character sways to the left and this right keyform is when the character sways to the right. And of course this middle keyform needs to be default position. Once we've got the movement down for the hair move side we can go into modeling at the top here and then open physics scene blending settings at the bottom of the list. So when you first start out, everything will be greyed out like this. So we need to add our own settings. If we go on this button add, we can put in something like jelly physics. You can input the physics model preset if you want. So we've already got some presets for things like short hair, long hair, stuff like that. You don't need to do that, but that is an option. So I guess for now we can just go with long, see what happens. I'm not 100% sure what the input preset is all about, but I tend to leave it blank. Click on OK. And as you can see, we've got a pendulum. Uh, if I was to move the character right now, nothing is moving and that needs to be moving for it to work. Now to make it move, you have to go, obviously make sure the input settings is highlighted here. Click on add right here above this field. Now we need to select the X, Y, and Z parameters for this. Feel free to increase the settings here to max just to get it working. Uh, and then we can try this out and the pendulum is finally working. Now, of course, we still don't have any movement going on. There's no wibbly wobbly movement yet. <laughs> so we need to go into the output settings tab right here. This is where you add the physics parameter. So in this case, I had used the hair move side parameter for the physics. So you select that one and you click OK. Now it should work. So we've got some wobbling movement right now. We've got some physics going on with the character. Now this will take some trial and error, of course. Um, you can mess around with the settings a little bit more. You can also add pendulums as well. You can also change the preset you had set before into something else. Just make sure that whatever you select here, you click import so it actually works. So yeah, that can add a few more physics to your character. You can just mess around with these settings, see what you think. If you want to add your own settings, you can delete all of these and start from scratch. Uh, as long as you select it and click delete, you can add new physics yourself. You can mess around with the settings. As you can tell, like the pendulum extends and reacts differently depending on like what you do with the settings in general. I do recommend just messing around with it, seeing what you can do with it and stuff. So yeah, like that is a general introduction of how it all works. I'm not too in the know of the exact details as to how all of these work, all of the settings here, but generally speaking, um, you can get some really nice movement with that. You can also reflect, I think, movement depending on the 
movement of the character like that for example when the character rotates the head to the left it will start bouncing to the left and right that kind of thing but you can also reflect it so that it goes the opposite direction so it's pretty cool uh, just to kind of touch base though that once you have your physics set up and stuff you go into export for runtime and you can actually export it as a physics setting by itself you don't have to go into the export export as mark free file constantly all the time every time that you have edited your physics all you'd have to do is just export the physics settings as the file that it is and replace your current physics settings with something else if you have another physics setting that is uh, so yeah hopefully that makes sense um, but you don't have to be constantly re-exporting your entirety of your rig every time that you change your physics all you have to do is just go on export physics settings and away you go and also when you go to export as mark 3 make sure that export physics settings file is actually ticked here because if it's not ticked it won't save the physics file so uh, so if you do like a full export of your rig make sure that you do tick this box so that's it guys that's a very quick one this is just a redo of an old video that I did previously. I just wanted to get this out there for everyone who is looking for a solution or wanting a very basic, very quick video on the whole situation on how to make physics for your VTuber model. This can be applied to hair of course. We're using this character which is like a little jelly wibbly wobbly character. Um, that can be applied to anything. That could be applied to hair, that could be applied to accessories, everything. So uh, in the advanced tutorials though, you can look into how the physics work very briefly into things like the hair and how I do it. Uh, so yeah, hope to catch you in that one and thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves out there and if you like the video please thumbs up and if you want to see more content from me in the future please subscribe to the channel. It means a lot, seriously. Thank you so much for the wonderful support and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye guys, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye!